All right guys, Tony here with Salt Strong and we're gonna be fishing some schools of black drum out here on the flats with artificial lures. I have a gulp shrimp, three inch, new penny gulp shrimp rigged up here. We are on a decent sized school of black drum. There's numerous schools out here on this flat, pretty close to the shoreline. There's one in front of me right here I'm trying to sneak up on and I'm gonna show you what I like to do to get them to hit. Now this gulp shrimp is ideal because of the scent. Black drum are, well, they rely very heavily on scent for feeding. So let's see what we could do here. Here's a school right here. Notice the disturbance on the water. They're sort of just sitting still, sort of milling around. So I'm gonna slow down here. It's usually the fish that are on the edge of the school See, they just spooked off there. That will pick up an artificial. So I'm gonna get a good idea of where they're going. Still a few hanging around over there, so it's gonna cast this out to them. And just gonna let it sit there for a minute. Sometimes you can just let it sit there. Other times just slowly drag it on the bottom. Oh, just had a hit there. tapping it but they're not picking it up looks like they're sitting on a pile of grass let's see if I can catch up with them again some big tails popping up there and if I can't get the ones to hit on the outside edge of the school I'll just toss this right in the middle of them gonna toss it right out by them didn't spook them you can see they're pretty preoccupied so they didn't take off just gonna let this sit there because that scent will pick up on it and if they don't take it I'll just slowly drag it along the bottom get their attention sometimes you have to be real patient with these schools because they're nose deep in the mud also, there's so many of them, they may not see your lure. Another cast out in front of them. They seem to be heading that way, so just made a nice cast in front of where they're going. Just gonna let that sit there. Tighten up the line a little bit. Slowly drag it. When your lure just sits there, they sort of bounce the line around they're bumping into the line. Might have one here. Yep. There we go. There's one. So yeah, when your lure is just sitting there and your line is actually in the school of fish, they will be running into your line and that just naturally moves your lure around. And that'll usually get the attention of one of the fish. Nice size drum. As you can see, the school doesn't really spook off very far. They just sort of hang out. <laughs> They're not like redfish. 10 pound braid, 20 pound leader. 3,000 size reel. Seven and a half foot rod gets the job done. Always good to have a net when you're fighting these guys because they never give up and they're pretty heavy. I think he's giving up now. All right, solid drum on the gulp shrimp. You can see it right there. Pick it up. So there you have it, a little demonstration using artificial lures with black drum, schools of black drum that you may come across on the flats if you don't have, happen to have live bait. Gulp shrimp works really well, or if you have some additional scent you can add to your soft plastics, that will get the job done as well. 
So if you are interested, we do sell the gulp shrimp on our shop page. You can check it out at fishstrong.com. And if you are one of our insider members, keep in mind you do get an additional or up to 20% off everything on the shop page. So be sure to take advantage of that. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and also money on the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.